Well, welcome to this Gapco product profile. This is the ProFX FX pedal boards that um, are brand new on the market. Um, really nice construction, good quality ply with a really tough um, black uh, coating on the outside that resists scratches and marks and uh, just seems very durable. Uh, really nice um, case fitting, uh, good handles, good corners, good feet. Um, I'll take the lid off it so you can see. The hardware on the ProFX pedal boards is really nice quality. You've got excellent, good quality um, butterfly catches and corners. They put a spring handle and the plywood is doubled up in these areas where the strength is really needed. That's at the back and the front. And um, you can see they've got the lift off hinges at the back here rubber feet all around so that you've got them on when you're sitting on its on its uh, on its bottom and then on its side when you're actually storing it it's got rubber feet as well finishes a black spray coated finish very durable resists marks and scratches and looks good a movable mounting surface which is really unique um, this one when you want to use it you can lift it up and then position it so you get a nice angled mounting surface. When you're not using it, you can lift it out and put it back down again. So just like that. And so we'll bring it back up again. Now the pedals, this is plywood also. They've done it in a really nice contrasting red, which certainly makes uh, seeing your pedals on stage a lot easier. You can mount the pedals on the mounting surface using the Velcro which comes supplied. You get very good quality hook and loop uh, Velcro, one meter. And as you can see this one is mounted using Velcro. Very, very strong. It's not going to come off. Um, using the hook and loop is a really good way of doing it because you can move them around. But on certain pedals where maybe you don't want to damage the bottom sticker or you don't want to take the bumpers off or the feet off, or some of the heavier pedals, like the wire pedals or the loopers, where you don't want to use Velcro to mount them on the bottom, you can use these brackets which come supplied, and the brackets grip the pedals at the side. They use a, a small strip of hook and loop again, and they really grip, grip the pedal extremely tightly. This particular one here is a wire pedal, and it won't move. It's got two brackets holding it. The feet are still on. The brackets are slotted so that you can undo the screws and slide it back on both sides and then pull the pedal out if you need to get to it. But for when you want to move this around, using the brackets is a really, really good way of mounting pedals. So now I'm going to show you how the pedals can be mounted using the brackets that ProFX supply. This is an old Boss pedal. I don't really want it. It's quite sought after now and I don't really want it ruined. It's got the rubber base and it's got the, the label on the bottom so I don't really want to put a big chunk of Velcro on the back of that. I don't want to have to take the screws out. So using the brackets, I've already mounted one here and I've peeled off the Velcro so you can then face it up to that and press it in. Then you can use your other bracket to peel off the Velcro off that. And then that can then be faced up to where the other bracket is, or it can be wherever you want to put it. And you can push it nice and tight. And then they come with some screws. Now the holes on the brackets themselves are slotted. So you can position this so that the actual slotted part of the... Um, so you can actually move the bracket. So, right. so I've... Uh, already got the, uh, the first bracket on, the second bracket I'm just going to face it up to that piece of Velcro on the side of the pedal, squeeze it tight and that's it. The pedal is very very securely fixed to the board. It's not going to move and if you want to get it out you just loosen the brackets and it comes out because it's male and female Velcro. So one of the big problems of mounting wire pedals on pedal boards is how do you do it? Velcro on the bottom isn't really strong enough. You have to take the feet off it. That's not ideal because they're heavy pedals. So using these brackets actually gives you a really good and, and alternative way of mounting them, particularly as these can be bent. So 
And this one here, I'm going to put um, a velcro going to the back of the pedal here. So I put the bracket against the end here, and I screw that in place. So go down like that. That's in there. So we'll put a bracket on both sides of this pedal because it's heavy. Now, normally I would angle these because I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to see how it works without it. So I'll get another. I mean, it's probably a good idea to use a bradle or something else just to just to give yourself a pilot hole, but they will go straight in like that. And then I'll use a third bracket. So, so this is really gripping the pedal in its position here. So we'll put the screw in. Right, there you go. Now I won't put the additional screws in just for the moment. Now that is very solid. That's not going to move. And that's just with three brackets mounting the pedal on the side. And that will stay there all day. The standard boards, Pryfex boards, come with the surface mount latches, which are very sturdy, very well made. Again, US made, I believe. And the spring handle. However, Pryfex have also said that uh, if you would prefer to have recessed butterfly catches, they're able to offer those as a, an option. Uh, I think there's a small upcharge for that. And also you can have it with a different handle. They do one with a leather strap handle instead of a metal spring handle. So they have different options available depending on your needs.